Hello everyone and welcome to Pronoun TV and the Stephanie Stevens Show. I'm just doing a quick drop in tonight to do my game show, How Smart Are You? For those of you who have never seen the show, it's just a recap of different celebrities or different trivia. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Pronoun TV and the Stephanie Stevens Show. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Lots of new things are coming for September. And we're going to start our game show off tonight with all different, sort of a mix of trivia. So, like I said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Stephanie Stevens, and nice to meet you guys out there. I know I haven't been on Facebook Live for a while. It's because we're filming the shows um, to... Um, for the new season for September. So it's going to be quite interesting because we've stepped up our game. We're going to start our show off tonight with our first talk show host. She was in the movie Hairspray, the Broadway production of Hairspray. She used to be on very early in the morning competing with Geraldo and Sally Jesse Raphael. She was quite fabulous and we love her. Anybody know who this talk show host is? Anybody know who this talk show host is? She was in the Broadway musical with John Travolta, Hairspray. Anybody know who this woman is? This is the incredible Miss Ricky Lake. Miss Ricky Lake from Hairspray. We love us some Ricky Lake. Our next talk show host was from Early Morning. One of the six or seven black talk show hosts on primetime television. Anybody know who this gentleman is? This gentleman did a lot for the LGBT two-spirit pronoun community. This is Mr. Montel Williams. That's right. This is Mr. Montel Williams from Early Morning Talk Show Host. Our next talk show host. She used to wear red rim glasses. And the woman that's in the picture with her is the most famous woman on television now. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to guess that, but let's try and see what happens. Anybody know who this red rim, um, eyeglass wearing talk show host is and who this woman is? She's the most famous woman on television right now. This is Sally Jesse Raphael and Judge Judy. This is Judge Judy, hmm. the most powerful woman on television right now. This is Judge Judy and Sally Jesse Raphael. Our next talk show host started her career in the 1950s. She was fabulous. She one of the creators of The View. One of the creators of The View. She used to also be on 2020. Anybody know who this woman is? This woman is. Anybody know who this fabulous talk show is? She's retired now. This is the incredible Miss Barbara Walters. Miss Barbara Walters from The View and 2020. Our next early morning talk show host. We miss him. He's passed on now and they used to have the most, the highly rated talk show early in the morning. We used to watch these two before we watched Ryan and um, Kelly. Anybody know who this gentleman is? This is Regis Filming and Kathy Lee Gifford. They used to be the king and queen of early morning talk show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Pronoun TV. I'm Stephanie Stevens, and today my game show is How Smart Are You? It's a mix of trivia. Our next celebrity is part of the Kardashian clan. He used to be, he is now a she. He won a gold medal in 1979 for pole vaulting, and she's running for governor of one of the California states now. One of the states. And um, anybody know who this is? Kardashian clan member is. Anybody know who this is? This is Caitlyn Jenner. Used to be Bruce Jenner. He's part of the LGBT two-spirit pronoun community. And she's trying to do something. She was on um, The Mass Singer. Oh! <laughs> I won't say anything negative because it's not what the show is about. But I didn't know she sang. But anyway, our next celebrity is the creator of The View is the creator of The View. Anybody know who this fabulous woman is? She was on, a, on another show called 2020. She was one of the talk show hosts, the main talk show hosts on there on 2020. She was on with Hugh Downs. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this show. It might be too young for you guys 
uh, you guys might be too young to remember. This is Barbara Walters, the creator of The View. Barbara Walters, the creator of The View. We love her from 2020, and she used to be on there with Hugh Downs. Oh, I used to love to say that all the time. Hugh Downs. Oh, that name is fabulous. Our next celebrity talk show host, they used to call him Carrot Top. Carrot Top or Ginger. That's what they call him, Ginger. Anybody know who this Carrot Top Ginger talk show host is? Anybody know who this? He was part of the late night host on late night. This is Mr. Conan O'Brien. Mr. Conan O'Brien, late night talk show host. Fabulous, fabulous. Our next talk show host, who I think is very cute, very butch. Mm. I watch his show all the time because I just think that he's funny. I do. I think that he's the funniest one of all on late night. I'm sorry. I do. I do. This is Mr. Jimmy Kimball, the man who I think is the funny is on late night television. Very funny. Mr. Jimmy Kimball is very funny. Very funny. King of late night. That's what I'll call him. I'll call him the king of late night. I'm sure some of y'all would disagree with me. And that's okay. We all have different people that we like and we love. Our next talk show host used to be the king of late night. He used to be the king. Anybody know who he is? He used to be the king of late night television. This is Mr. Larry King. I used to love watching the show Larry King Live. Oh, reminds me of my first name. I, there's somebody in the closet named Larry. <laughs> well, anyway, our next talk show host is fabulous and amazing. He has 104 vintage cars. 104 vintage cars. He's not on television anymore, but he's doing these little YouTube channel things. And he's quite funny. And I miss him because I used to think he was very funny. He took over for David Letterman. Well, him and David Letterman were in competition, and David Letterman won out. But, um, we still love him anyway. He has 104 vintage cars. Anybody know who this gentleman is? Anybody know who this gentleman is? This is Mr. Jay Leno. Jay Leno. Mm -hmm. From late night. We love Jay Leno. That look is just, you, you, you can never not know who Jay Leno is. That look is just synonymous. Our next celebrity is from the Blade series. From the Blade series. Apparently he spent three years in jail for tax evasion. Apparently. Apparently. That's what I heard. And uh, But I used to love watching his movies. He was also in the LGBT Two-Spirit Pronoun Community movie Two Wong Fu. Doesn't make a very attractive woman, but he was in that movie. Anybody know who this gentleman is? Anybody know who this gentleman is? He was in the movie Too Wong Fu. This is Mr. Wesley Snipes. Mr. Wesley Snipes. He was also, he was just did a guest appearance in Eddie Murphy's Coming to America 2. Our next celebrity is an upset supermodel. Upset supermodel. The queen of the catwalk. She can walk like nobody else and she's beautiful. But she's upset all the time. Apparently, she likes beating up the maids in New York, New York City. Apparently. That's what I heard. Anybody know who this beautiful supermodel is with a real bad attitude? Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? Fabulous, though. She's beautiful, and she can walk like nobody else. The queen of the catwalk. This is Miss Naomi Campbell. But don't get on her bad side, because she will hit you. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I, I don't know, but I heard that. Our next celebrity, well, sort of semi-celebrity, the FBI went and got her, I think, from Jamaica or Trinidad because she was she scammed Floridians out of six million dollars. Anybody remember this woman? Anybody remember this woman? Anybody remember? She had a famous saying. When you would answer the phone, she would say her name and people would say, who? And she would say it again and people would hang up on her. But she, apparently she scammed the senior citizens in Florida out of six million million dollars. This woman, they put her in jail. I don't know if she's alive or dead now. I, can, I don't remember <clears throat> if she's alive or dead. But this is Miss Cleo. This is Miss 
Cleo. The woman that ripped all the senior citizens off in Florida. She got them good. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? Miss Cleo. Who? Miss Cleo. Click. <laughs> That's what I know most black people did. <laughs> Our next celebrity. Help Tina Turner got her career back on track. Back on track. He could write. He had his own producing studio. He was a director. And he helped Tina Turner got number one hits. Like, um... River Deep, Mountain High. Anybody know who this gentleman is? Apparently he's in jail too for killing his girlfriend. Anybody know who this concerning looking record producer is? <laughs> come on now. You're 80 years old with a hairdo like this. Come on now. Come on. I, I hope he doesn't have it. <laughs> I don't know y'all. I don't know. I can't help it. I just think that it's so funny. This is Phil Spectra. Phil Spectra for Spectra Records. Uh, and he's the one that helped Tina Turner got her career back on track. I don't understand it with these celebrities. I don't understand it sometimes what they do. They do the craziest things, some of these people. Oh, just give me the money. I'll retire lovely in Florida in a nice house and fish all day and go to the beach and eat nice food and just shop until I fell out and travel the world. It's not, it's not so hard. I mean, I understand that you want love at 80 years old, but it's probably better to not get somebody that's 27. You're 80. It's probably better to get somebody that's 60 years old that can deal with you and understand you and that will stick around. 27-year-old girl ain't stand with no 81-year-old man unless it's about money and shopping. And you know you can't keep up in the bedroom, so that ain't going to keep her there. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Our next celebrity <laughs> is, apparently, she was the queen of the Philippines. Her and her husband ran off with all the money of the Philippines and left the people destitute. And apparently, she had 403 pairs of shoes. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? Apparently... They stole all the money of the people of the Philippines and lived real good and the people were poor. Anybody know who this famous woman is? I don't know where she's at now. <laughs> I know she's not there because she's running scared from the people. Oh, apparently she had 403 pairs of shoes. This is Miss Amelda Marcos. Miss Amelda Marcos, the queen of the Philippines. Her and her husband stole all the money from the people of the Philippines and ran off with it. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's what I heard, apparently, apparently. Our next celebrity is one of the cutest talk show hosts I've seen. He's a comedian, and now he's a talk show host. I see him all over television all the time. And it's quite funny, his comedy. I think it's a little dry, but um, it's because it seems contrived and forced. But he's kind of funny. He's better at late night, doing just doing talk shows. Don't try to make people laugh. <clears throat> You're not Eddie Murphy. This guy is, he's funny, but not a natural. Eddie Murphy was a natural, a natural. And that's what we like when we watch comedy, but he's funny. Our next celebrity, two late night talk show hosts. Two late night talk show hosts who I watch all the time. Anybody know who this gentleman is? And this gentleman, he used to be on Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. He used to host a segment on Saturday Night Live, and he is one of the other late night talk show hosts. Anybody know who these gentlemen are? This is Seth Meyers. Seth Meyers from Saturday Night Live. He's got his own late night talk show. I love watching him because he's just so interesting. He really is. He's very interesting. And this is Stephen Colbert. Older, wiser, smarter, laid back, cool, and collective. Mm. I'm more interested in interesting and wild. <laughs> Stephen Colbert and um, Seth Meyers, late night talk show host. We love them. Our next talk show host, controversial. They used to call it Trash TV. And we loved him because I couldn't stop watching it all the time. I used to watch it all the time and watch them fighting and scrapping and all that stuff. Anybody know who this gentleman is? And they used to have that famous where the whole audience would shout his name. You guys know who this is? Anybody know who this is? Amazing, amazing. He used to have the trashiest show. They kept trying to take it off television because they kept saying that it was Trash TV. This is Jerry Springer from Trash TV. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. From the Jerry Springer show. We love Jerry Springer. I, I mean, sometimes I just thought that it was just too ridiculous, but we love it. Was inter it was television and it was entertainment for at its time. So, and our final celebrity is the king of horror movies. The king of horror movies. Anybody know who this is? Anybody know who this is? No, this is not O.J. Simpson. This is the king of horror movies, Michael Myers. Mr. Michael Myers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in here to Pronoun TV and my game show, How Smart Are You? Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Our new season will start again in September. Please make sure that you follow me, share my videos, because in the new season, things will be a lot different. You'll have to watch us on the Creative Studio. Um, so you're going to need to follow me so you can be updated on what's happening and what's premiering on, on, on the channel and everything. So you won't see me doing a lot of lives anymore on Facebook. I'm now starting next week. I'm on TikTok now on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 1.30 in the morning. And then um, the following week, I will be live on Instagram and Twitch. So check that out and see what we're doing. We're doing a whole lot of different things. So check them out. But the new season of the Stephanie Stevens Show starts in September. We're filming them all now. And it's all new backdrops, all new everything. It's going to be, it's, it's, it's fabulous. It's going very well. So thank you guys. So be sure to follow me on Facebook or if you're on Instagram or if you're on TikTok. Just check it out. But you're going to need to be following me to have an update for the new season. Okay? Thank you guys. Have a great night, everybody. And it's Saturday night. Do something with yourselves. From Pronoun TV and The Stephanie Stevens Show, thank you.